My name is Patrick Pierce. Porrick Pierce. I was born in Dublin in 1879. My father was a stonemason, successful stonemason. I was fortunate to be educated at Trinity College and University College Dublin. At university I studied French, Irish and English. Following my undergraduate education, I went on to King's Inn where I was enrolled as a barrister at law. My first case involved defending Donegal farmer Neil McBride. Neil had refused to pay a fine issued by a British officer in Donegal. The fine was issued because Neil had displayed his name in Irish on his work vehicle. Neil had refused to pay the fine and I went on to defend him in court but the British judge threw the case out. It was then I realised that I was a barrister of British law The thought repulsed me. <sighs> so, I set up a school in Rathfarnham in Dublin, a secondary school, and became a teacher. A more noble profession, I thought. We taught many of the subjects that were on the British syllabus for second level students, but our primary subject was the language of Ireland, Irish. Those were happy years spent at the school in Rathfarnham. I was also a member of the Irish Republican Brotherhood. The IRB was a secret organisation dedicated to Irish freedom from British rule. Founded in the 1850s, the IRB didn't have the greatest reputation with the people of Ireland. We were somewhat of a laughing stock. <laughs> we had staged many rebellions against the British and all were failures. In 1916, while Britain was heavily engaged in world war, we saw an opportunity. In Easter of that year, proclamations were posted all around the city declaring an Irish Republic free from British rule in direct defiance of the British government stationed in Ireland. We took hold of the General Post Office in O'Connell Street or Sackville Street the rebellion again failed initially. We were hundreds against thousands of British armed forces. The difference between this rebellion, however, and the rebellions that have preceded it over the last 60 years were that we were executed, me and my men, the British executed us. No longer in the, peop in the eyes of the people in Ireland were we a joke. The act of the British executing the leaders of 1916 awoke a flame inside the Irish people who took arms against the strongest empire on the planet. And against impossible odds, we won our freedom. 